now let us study about malice law okay so for this first let's see uh, an example then we will go to the statement okay so first we will take unpolarized light okay let's take a source here the source gives light in all directions like this way so this light vibrates in all the planes so we say this is an unpolarized light okay and the plane of vibration we will draw like this way okay. this is a plane here this is unpolarized light okay unpolarized light that means light vibrates in all the directions now this unpolarized light okay we must make it to polarized for that what we do we use a polarizer okay so we have a polarizer here like this this polarizer makes it vibrate in vertical plane here okay so this is a polarizer okay next what we do is this polarizer gives out uh, linearly polarized waves okay that is in vertical direction so let me draw the plane here for this okay. then the light rays will vibrate only in the, in the only the linear direction like this way okay now what we do is we have something called analyzer Okay. so light ray coming from here will be analyzed by the analyzer here so we have an analyzer here like this okay this analyzer it is not exactly perpendicular to this polarizer okay it's at some angle like this it's at some the angle okay now what happens is the light ray from here okay if it's not fully polarized what happens some of the light ray will go like this okay. like this so and from the polarizer it, the light ray will vibrate like this way okay from the analyzer so the analyzer is like this way okay. it's at some angle t theta to the polarizer it's not exactly straight okay so this is an analyzer okay. like this way it is there now what we do is we must compare the electric fields here okay so here this vibrates on the electric field is that e is vibrating Okay, the electric field vibrates here. So let me draw this as a picture and show it to you. A circle here. So we divide four quadrants like this. Okay. Now the electric field, you see, okay, it's at some angle, some other angle here. So I'll draw like this way. It's at some angle. So the electric field E is at an angle theta to the vertical. Okay. You put dotted lines here. This will become as E X, the horizontal component, and this will be E Y, the vertical component of the electric field. Okay. Now what we do is let the light coming from the polarizer be I naught, okay. And the light coming from the okay, polarizer is I naught. The light coming from the analyzer that is I is equal to I naught, okay, cos square theta, okay. So this one I is I naught cos square theta. That's called Mallet's law, okay. So the what does it do is it says that the light coming from the analyzer is equal to Cos square times I naught into cos square times the angle of the analyzer. Okay, so this thing here I is equal to I naught cos square theta. Okay, this is the statement of Mallet's law, or this is the equation for Mallet's law. Mallet has discovered this. Okay, here I means the intensity of light which comes out. Okay, this is I. Okay, and I naught is in instant light here. Cos of this angle theta. Theta is the angle here. That is no. Now we must prove this. Let's see the proof now. I'll erase this board, and then we'll see the proof. Okay. I have erased the board now. Let's see the proof for this Mallet's law. Okay. Proof. Let's try this now. So the light ray which comes out from the polarizer, okay. it has an amplitude a. Okay. Amplitude is a here. That's the plane of the polarizer. Plane of the polarizer. Then the analyzer, it's at some other angle. Remember, we have the polarizer here first. Okay. Light comes from the polarizer in vertical direction. Then we have the analyzer. Okay. Analyzer, what's at some other angle here? Okay. This is the polarizer, and this is the analyzer, like this way. It has some, it's, the analyzer is at some angle. Okay. It's at some angle. The angle here is theta. Okay. Theta. This is the plane of the analyzer. The plane of the analyzer. So what we do, this is a vector actually. Okay. Here A stands for the amplitude. You resolve the amplitude into two components. Okay. Like this way. Near this theta, we get here the horizontal component that is A cos 
theta and near this side on the or on the other side we get here the vertical component that is a sin theta okay so in the a cos theta only is in the plane of the analyzer so that only will work here okay or will be used here so now we take the intensity of light intensity is directly proportional to a cos theta this component okay the whole square okay. now what we do is we must remove the proportion sign okay so put an equal to sign and a constant here so equal to sign Okay, and a constant that is k into a a square. Okay, square this a square and then cos square cos square theta. Okay, this we have here. Now k into a square. That you instead of this you write as i naught. Okay, i naught is equal to k into a square. Okay, that you substitute here. So it here i is equal to i naught into cos square theta. Okay, this is statement of the Mellor's law. Or the equation for Mellor's law. Now we'll see some two special cases here. Okay, so two special cases we'll study. Okay. So case one. Okay. The first case that is both the polarizer and analyzer are both are perpendicular to each other or parallel to each other. Okay. So first we have the polarizer here. Okay, polarizer is like this frame, and the analyzer also is like this. Both are perpendicular or pa parallel to each other. Polarizer and the analyzer are pa parallel to each other. Okay. In this case, the angle theta is equal to zero degrees. Okay. The angle theta is zero degrees. That you substitute this equation here. Okay. Let's see what is the value of cos zero. Cos zero value is one. Okay. So substitute here. This will become one here. So we substitute i is equal to i not into one will come. So i is equal to i not will come. Will be happening here. So we can say that. The entire amount of light given by the polarizer will go through the analyzer. Okay, so we can say that the trans or the transmission axis both are parallel to each other. Okay, that's what we can say from this. The transmission axis of polarizer and analyzer are parallel. Okay, both are parallel to each other. Let me see here. That's the case one. Now let's see case two. Okay. In case two, what happens is we rotate the analyzer by 90 degrees. Okay. So polarizer is like this frame, but the analyzer is rotated by 90 degrees here. Okay. So this is the polarizer and this is the analyzer here. I written short form. Okay. Now in this case, theta is equal to 90 degrees here. Okay. So substitute here. Theta is 90 degrees. Cos 90. We'll see what is it. Cos 90 value is Zero. Okay. So this term entire term will become as zero here. So the intensity of light which comes out will be equal to i is equal to zero will be happening here. Okay. That's what we know here. Now what happens is we can say from this the transmission axis okay, of polarizer and analyzer are both are perpendicular to each other. Okay. So this, these are two special cases of this uh, Mellor's law. Okay. So this is the statement of Mellor's law. This you must know this. Okay. So go through the equations and write and see it. Thank you for watching.